Hey everybody, I wanted to do an update video on temperature control. I added a smart home Wi-Fi th uh, temperature monitor um, and essentially it has an app and I'll put the uh, item uh, in the description of the video so you can order it. Um, but it probably any temperature monitor that, that's got Wi-Fi capabilities would do. Um, this one worked really good. It's got alerts that it can send you once you get to a certain temperature. It also shows historical data and whatnot. But my goal was to get a better idea what the temperature was in here, monitor it, get alerts if something if there's some sort of issue. Um, the other thing too is what I noticed is is after the generator is stopped, I have to leave the lid cracked um, in order for the heat to escape because the fan was plugged in the generator. So what I did is I found this cheap. I say it's cheap, but it's, it was one of the only ones I could find. Um, Pro watt uh, transfer switch. It's a 15 amp transfer switch. You get power from the utility, you get power from the generator, and then you plug your item in there and it'll get, it basically automatically transferred to wherever the power is. And so the, what would happen is, is that when the generator is turned off, um, it will switch back to my utility power. And because this fan is temperature controlled, as you can see, the fan will continue to run even when the generator is not running. And what that'll do is allow this box to cool down, um, you know, as the heat is still emitting from the generator. And so just another safety uh, measure, a convenience measure. I don't have to leave the lid open uh, after I turn the generator off. Sometimes it's still raining or storm or whatever, but we've got utility power back. Um, but anyways, I thought I'd post an update video on this. I'm going to add a, just a little uh, clip from the app uh, showing you temperature um, uh, temperature alerts and and what the history of, of uh, graphs look like and then I'll add uh, these items in the description I probably paid I think somewhere around the $40 range for the automatic transfer switch I'm thinking I can't remember somewhere around the $35 range for the temperature monitor and then, you know, some miscellaneous electrical parts for the plugs, I think probably $15 there. So definitely well worth it for additional temperature uh, safety and, and monitoring. Um, you know, if it gets, if it were to get to above 115 degrees, it, it'll send me a, a notification on my phone. Um, but anyways, hope this helps. Uh, leave questions in the comments. And uh, like I said, I'll add all the items uh, in the description.